There we go, guys. Here's a good fish. Here's a good fish right here, guys. Here we go. Look at my hand right there compared to that fish. Whoa, this dude right here's got some weight. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am out at the ranch this afternoon. It is Thursday afternoon to be exact. And I am about to fish the river for the first time in 2022. And I can't tell you how super stoked I am about this. It is afternoon, so we probably only got about an hour and a half or so to fish. The river is looking just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it couldn't be any better fishing conditions in this river right now than what it is. So I'm uh, mainly just targeting catfish this afternoon. I ain't had no good catfish in a while. So that's pretty much what we're going for. I got nothing but chicken livers, that's it. Don't know what we're going to catch, but we're about to get up here on this bridge and we're about to find out, y'all. Let's go. We're just keeping it simple. We're just going in with some chicken livers. Hey, you ain't got to get too fancy out here, I promise you. Now we just got to catch some fish. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There. All right. Nope, I got it. Here we go. Fish on. What we got? Is this going to be a big old brim? Yes, it is. Look at that. Nice catch. On chicken livers, y'all. Definitely wasn't expecting that. We'll take that all day long. On chicken livers, y'all. Let's get him back. Oh, here we go. Look, we already on. I mean, he just ran straight out with it. Oh, here we go. We on. Oh, yes. We on. What we got? Boy, that is another nice one. Look at that. Son, that's a chunker right there. And a stick. And he choked it, too. He swallowed it. Yep. So I'm about to keep this guy. Because he swallowed it. That's a fine bluegill right there, y'all. Look at that. Good Lord. Take that all day. Oh, I do got a fish. I had no idea I had a fish. Probably another big brim. Oh God, look at that. Another nice one. Holy cow. Man, that's a show enough good one right there. Mm. Look at that, y'all. I take that all day long, like I said. Holy cow. That's some nice bluegill. Let's get him in the bucket. Now I came out here today with all intentions on catching some nice catfish. I ain't had no catfish in a while. And I'm here to tell you right now, I am flat wearing out some big bluegill, y'all. And I am not complaining about that. So let's get back to it. Let's see if we can make it happen again. On chicken liver, big bluegill, unbelievable. I didn't even realize I had that last one on. I seen I got a bite. So I went to reel my line up to check it and bam, there he was. I'm getting a bite now, guys. I'm getting a bite now, he's running with it. I got him, I got him. What do I got? Boy, that thing's got some weight to him. Holy cow. Get up here. And I mean, these jokers are just flat out choking it, man. God, these jokers are nice. Look at that. Holy cow. Man. I mean, that's just beautiful fish right there. Look out. There's a. Look at my hand compared to those. I mean, that's some serious fish right there, y'all. Oh, 
And I'm catching these fish on a number four mustad hook. That's usually what I use the catfish with. But I mean, they just, they flat out just choking that hook down. It's working, so I'm not gonna change it. We're rebaited and going back out. Here we go, I'm on. He was sitting there choking on that thing the whole time. Ooh, look at him. Another good one. God, look at that. Ooh. I mean, a sure enough slab. Dang, them some big ones. I mean, look at the size of that bluegill right there, you know. I mean, them some sure enough big ones. Holy cow. Now I got to put on another hook. I mean, they just choking it down. We're going to go in with a long shanked brim hook. Get rid of that catfish hook. Didn't have plans on catching these big bluegill. Especially on the chicken livers like this. That seems to be the spot right there. I got that uh, brim hook on there now. So, but heck, they wouldn't have no problem with them catfish hooks I was using. So they really ain't gonna have no problem with this hook. Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, he, he was running with it. He might be sitting there already done swallowed it. Yep. 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 Here we go. Come on in here, baby. <sighs> Ain't quite as big as the last few I've been getting. Not a bad one. Unfortunately, he swallowed it, so I'm gonna have to keep him. Here we go. That seems to be the spot. He's hit it already. He's already hit it. Oh, he came off. Came off. Still got some bait left, too. That just means we're going right back out. See if we can get him to do that again. Maybe next time we'll hang him. There he is. Got him. Got him. Come on in here. Ooh. Oh, oh, yes, sir. Look at that. Another nice bluegill. Won't complain about that at all, guys. God, some nice fish. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Get him in the bucket. Baited back up, guys. Going back out. In the secret spot right there. I just wish all those daggum weeds wasn't over there. Next time I get out here in my boat, I'm going to clear all them weeds out of the way. Because that's one of my favorite holes is right over there. It's hard to cast over there with those weeds. There he goes. Oh, I missed him. Nope, look at this. Got him. Yeah, he's a smaller one. Nowhere near as big as what I've been getting. Let's get him back in the water. Bye-bye, buddy. I mean, these fish are on fire this evening, guys. Unbelievable. He's biting it already, got it. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah. Whoa. I don't think he's quite as big as the mother one. 
Nope, a little bit smaller. But that's okay. A little bit smaller. We're gonna let him go. We want some more of them beggings. There we go. He just bit it. Look at that. There he is. Oh, that might be a better fish right here, guys. That might be a better fish. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice fish. Nothing wrong with that guy. Beautiful, beautiful brim. We're gonna let him go. You definitely just couldn't ask for a better afternoon out here at the river. I'm telling you, these fish are on fire and I am super, super happy about that. I was not expecting it at all, so. Hey, I'm, I'm just tickled pink, y'all. This is awesome. Well, I'm getting a bite already. Yeah, he's bumping it. There he is right here, guys. Right here. Oh, that's a good one here. Oh. Felt like a good one anyway. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Another one of them nice ones. Yes, sir. Take him all day. As usual. I already got three or four of them beggings in the bucket. So I'm gonna let this guy go. Now he's a nice one now. He's fried up real good. See you later, buddy. Still have not hooked up with the first catfish yet today, y'all, uh, which is very, very surprising. But we'll see. Now, had I known I was gonna be out here getting on these big bluegill like that, I would have rigged up my ultra lights for sure. I'm telling you right now. I mean, it's a it's a blast on these bigger rods, but the whew, them ultra lights, man, it really would be fun. So I'm gonna have to get back out here and try them again. Rig up the ultra lights. Here we go, guys. Here's a good fish. Here's a good fish right here, guys. Here we go. Here's a good fish. What we got? Big brim. Oh yeah. Oh. One of them nice ones right there, guys. Look at that right there. Holy cow. That's a, that is a horse right there, y'all. I mean, that right there. That is a monster, y'all. God. Look at my hand right there compared to that fish. Good Lord. That was a monster. Holy cow. Super stoked about that right there. That's a big fish. I don't have my scale. I would have weighed him out. So, hey, we're about to get some bait back on and get back out there. Let's see if we can't get back out there in the spot, y'all. Man, wouldn't mind a couple more of them slabs. Holy smokes. Oh, here we go. What the world is going on here? That joke about took it out of my hand. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, man. Thank you, buddy. Get you on back in that water. And again. That spot right there, y'all, is just paying dividends. I'm telling you right now. Those fish are just stacked up in there thick. He's already got it. Oh, I missed him. Missed him, I missed him. Can't be missing no fish. Don't have much time left. Maybe we can get one or two more. It's starting to get dark. I'm either hung up or I got a fish. I don't know which one. That's a fish. Here we go, guys. Whoa, ho, ho. this dude right here's got some weight. This might be one of them catfish we've been after. This might be one of them catfish, guys. Oh, or it might be a bow fin. Oh, boy. Oh, son. Yep, it's a bow fin. Yep, it's a bow fin. 
Hey, you both in, guys. We're gonna let him go, though. And away he went. All right, y'all, I'm back at the truck. I got them fish iced down real good, so it'll be tomorrow sometime before I'm uh, gonna clean them because it's, it's about to get dark here pretty soon. So super stoked about this afternoon catching these fish like that. Wasn't expecting it. But I ain't had no good pan fish in a while, y'all. So we about to clean them rascals up and I'm about to cook them up now. They're gonna be good. I've been, I've been wanting some pan fish for a while and now I got me some. All right, y'all, we finally ready to clean these fish up. I mean, I want y'all to take a look at them big old slabs right there. That's some solid, solid bluegills right there. Now I just got these two out right now. Just to show you how I clean them. A lot of people do them different. Man, those are pretty. All you're gonna need is your pocket knife and I just take a spoon. All you need is a spoon and a pocket knife. And I just come in here and I just scale them like this with that spoon. Take that spoon, just knock them scales off them rascals. Real easy to do, them scales come right off both sides then you just take your pocket knife and come right in right in right there cut his head off and then clean him out and you're left with two beautiful bluegills i made some nice ones all we gotta do now is just get these rinsed and cleaned up real good and we about to get them ready for some hot grease y'all now some people like to do these different some people take these big ones like this and they'll just fillet the, the meat right off of them not me buddy i like to keep these rascals right here when they big like this i like to keep them whole but hey you do it however you feel that you like it but that's how I like mine right there. Just going in with a little vegetable oil. Then I got all them big beautiful bluegills cleaned up. Well, hey, we did have one little one, but he swallowed it. Wasn't nothing I could do about it. So he's going to get eight. Then just take some paper towels and just dry all your fish off real good. Try to get all that water off of them. That way you burn all your bread and your fish fry mix. That way it sticks to it real well. Then we're just going to chunk them babies in there. Look, we're just going to give them a good old bath. Now it is Friday, and Fridays in the South is Fish Fry Day. So I don't know if it's Fish Fry Day all over the country, but I know in the South on Fridays, most people eating fish. Restaurants, wherever. Cooking them at the house. Hey, we're cooking them at the house. And we like to have us some sweet tea, fried fish, some hush puppies, some french fries, and some cheese grits, y'all. And unfortunately, I don't have the cheese grits. One thing I did forget, but if you ain't never had cheese grits with your fish fry, let me tell you something, you are missing out. So you might want to give that a try for sure. Now we can get that little one in there. Ain't nothing wrong with that right there, yo. That's some fine eating. Yes, sir, we ready. Woo, boy, I'm a little excited, I ain't gonna lie. Here's the one thing I love about these pan fish right here, is I leave them whole for this reason, this reason only. It's because those fins right there and that tail, I call them fish fries, y'all. Them things crisp up and they just, they crunchy, they just, they so good. You can just hear, you can just hear the crunch in them. I just eat them all. Look, gnaw them jokers down, buddy. Look at that. Thick, too. Beautiful white meat. Firm. And so delicious. Hey, the only thing I'm missing is the cheese grits. And that's okay. That's okay. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. I appreciate y'all tuning in and watching. Hey, enjoyed myself at the river yesterday. We wound up having a Friday fish fry in the south, and I'm great with that. Was trying to catch some catfish. Did not expect to catch these big bluegills. So, 
really super stoked about that for sure definitely gonna be getting back out there pretty soon bringing the ultralight reels this time and getting on them big jokers because that's gonna be a lot of fun but till next time guys catch you some pan fish fry them up and try them and get you some cheese grits hey y'all take care and we'll see you next time